morning. Um, it's just after 7 a.m. and I'm about to set off for Scarfell Pike. So it's uh, reckoned to be about a five hour, six hour walk. Um, I'm doing the corridor route up um, and then coming back down to Waswater. So the route's planned. Um, uh, I'll be letting a, a friend know when I'm setting off. She'll have a copy of the route. Um, and I use Strava so she can actually track me while while I'm uh, while I'm walking, and she'll obviously know if, if I if I don't move for a couple of hours, it so much probably gone wrong. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a safety thing because I'm, I'm out hiking on my own. Um, looking forward to it. It's not a mountain I've done before, so this is one of the first ones that I've not done before. So it's a bit of a step into the unknown for me. It's the highest mountain in the UK, in, in England, uh, one of the three tallest peaks in the UK. I've done Ben Nevis, um, I've not done Snowdon, um, and I've not done Scarfell Pike. So it's another one to get off the list when I've completed it later today. The weather is looking really good over here. I'm hoping it's just as good over at Waswater. Um, and hopefully I'll get some views from the summit today because it's something I've not managed to do on any of the hills I've been up so far. Um, Due to weather, but fingers crossed. I'll be keeping you updated throughout the day on how things are going. Um, obviously, uh, one of the targets is now to do the coast to coast um, in May 2023. So this is all working towards the fitness for that. Um, that's 190 miles that I'm going to complete in 10 days, hopefully. Um, I'll allow it 14, but I want to do it in 10, um, unsupported, uh, carrying all my own gear. So I'll buy the tent for that on a Friday actually, um, just a, a lightweight backpacking tent that comes in at 1.6 kilos which is the lightest one I can afford um, with a decent uh, hydrostatic head, um, I think it's got a 5000 mil hydrostatic, hydrostatic head which will be needed up in the Pennines probably, knowing my luck um, and uh, I usually find the rain. So yeah, so I've got a couple of hours drive. Um, to get over there now, so I'm going to set off. Um, I'll speak to you later. Bye bye. So, today's been a bit of a close <coughs> um, Car broken down on Hard Knock Pass, which means I'm an hour late setting off, but hey ho, I'm still doing it, and the weather is fucking <coughs> shite. Pardon my French. So, yes, um, walking in the rain. Not the first time, won't be the last. Um, Discretion's the better part of valour. If it gets too nasty on the way up, I will be turning back and coming back down. Um, and it'll scratch down to a fail this week, but we'll come back another day and do it. But I'm gonna give it a go and see how we get on. Speak to you later, bye. Well, I'm a mile in, and so far I've passed five people, all of which were heading down the mountain after bailing on the summit and not going up. The weather has improved, waterproofs are off now. It's actually quite warm. Um, I've just, just climbed about 200 feet so far, um, not really started on the main ascent, uh, which is three and a half thousand. Um, but I'm gonna to have to make a judgment call. Cloud base is probably about five, 700 feet above me right now. Um, once I get up there, I'll have to decide whether one, it's within my abilities to carry on and two, whether it's safe to do so. Uh, solo hiking, so it's got to be both. Um, and I give more safety margin when I'm on my own than when I'm with somebody else. So we'll see how we go. At the moment, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. Um, I did opt to leave my big camera in the car today because of the weather. Didn't see much point. But right now I wish I had it with me. But I'll show you the best I can. It is quite spectacular and I'm already feeling better I had a bit of a stressful drive over here as I said earlier but this is already worth it so one way or another I'll get a walk out of today um, I'll let you know how it goes bye bye well top of the first rise so we're at 1300 feet still not in cloud really so that cloud base is definitely definitely lifting as way of following um, so climbing up that part I just <laughs> went past a guy who I recognised getting talking to him he uh, served on Uptelic 2 with me in Iraq um, and we remembered each other 
So yeah, uh, weren't in my unit, but he was on my uh, on my base when we were at Shiber Air Base. I used to see quite a lot of him. And uh, yeah, he didn't make it to the top. So he's uh, he said he didn't know the way, um, but that's why you have a map, I guess. So yeah, it's uh, a small world. So I've been chatting to him for about 15 minutes. So that's put me a bit further behind, but we'll get there. So I'm about to head up Scarfell now. And this is the view of it at the moment. That's, that's Scarfell there, up there somewhere. So yeah, it's not gonna be a great view from the top, I don't think. However, I have left my camera in the car, so there's a fair middling chance it'll be clear and glorious blue skies by the time I get up there. Just because I haven't brought my camera. So yeah. Right, I'll let you go. I'll update you from the top probably. Well that's the first thousand feet. Uh, during two to two just over two miles. Um it's taken me 50 minutes. I'm uh, on the proper ascent now. So I'm just coming up into cloud cover. It is raising, slowly but surely. Whether I'll get a clear view at the top, I don't think so. But we'll see how we're going. So, still safe to continue and still well within my ability. Just plodding on. Oh, I have to get a video of this. The views are just, even though we're in cloud now, it's absolutely beautiful. The walk up here is just. Amazing, and I'm feeling great. I climbed 1800 feet. <laughs> Seem to be a lot of squaddies up here today, but even the clouds are beautiful. Hey, it's just amazing. Made it, stood on the monument at the top of uh, the Scarfell Pike. It's another one ticked off the list. Well, been to the top of Scarfell Pike, there were about 150 people up there, so I didn't do much up there, just had a quick bite to eat and I've sat off back down. However, I have had to go old school, um, not because the digital map isn't working, but because there's that many routes, um, that many paths, I'm having an absolutely no visibility really. Um, I'm having to walk on a compass bearing uh, just to make sure I get the right path down for the route I want to take. Um, so yeah, always worth having it with you. <laughs> I'd have been guessing which direction I needed to set up otherwise. So anyway, more people, I'll let you go. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right. Well, that's Scarfell Pike done in four and a half hours, less than four and a half hours. Nine miles. Uh, went up the corridor route, uh, found an old Victorian shoe that will be a picture of at the end and uh, yeah that's been up there a fair few years. What a walk! No view at the top, just uh, clouded out as usual for me and I didn't take my big camera but I'm going to try and get some shots on the way out. Um, but yeah, feeling absolutely sound I think is the word really good about it that was my big challenge for this year um, I said last year I was going to do it um, in November uh, that I was going to get that done this year in June, July I wouldn't have thought so um, I was in depths of depression and I was unfit and I wouldn't have been able to do it um, but I've been working hard these past few weeks uh, six weeks or so my fitness is up there it really is I've just done I've just done Scarfell hiking four hours four and a bit hours and that included stopping for 20 minutes to talk to an old friend so yeah absolutely absolutely proud as punch for myself 
I was quite nervous when I was driving here this morning, quite apprehensive about it. I thought this was going to be the one that beat me. And I was prepared not to do it. I was prepared to turn back if it got too much. But I didn't. I got up there and I smashed it. I fucking smashed it. Part of my fridge. Absolutely ecstatic with myself. Really, really pleased. I will be having a beer when I get home tonight. Absolutely. I deserve one and I will be having one. So, the drive home now. Um, nice and steady away. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Please, please subscribe. All right. Watch the videos. Just subscribe. All right. Um, mean a lot to me. And I will be uh, raising money for candle lighters over the coming months. Um, in memory of uh, a little boy called Matthew Adcock. Um, um, so I'll be raising money for, for them. Um, and I'll be doing Tough Mudder 10k on the 31st of July 2022. Um, and that's what I want sponsoring for. So if you'd like to reach in your pockets, um, I'll be posting a link to the fundraising page for that. Appreciate every penny. Um, my target's £500. If I beat that, brilliant. Um, I'll definitely be getting to it because I'll make it up um, if I don't. So I'm not taking any money out of the sponsorship. I've paid for it all myself. So please subscribe, like, share the videos and, and let people know what I'm doing. Thank you. Bye.